So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can customize the content that's in the game. So if you haven't already got the Sims 4 Studio installed, go ahead and do that. And then once you've got that all locked and loaded and ready to go, we're going to get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that standalone recolor is selected and then you're going to hit object. All right. And then you're going to scroll down. Now for this video, I've included a link to the exact item that I've used. Um, and then once you've got it, it's going to be the, where the hell is it? This one. So <laughs> the Kleenex uh, recolor, right? And then it's going to ask you what you want to save it as. So we're going to save this as tissue test. That's what I'm going to save it as. And then make sure that you've got a folder dedicated to all of your custom content that you're going to make. So I've made a folder called Sims 4 Custom, brand new. I'm going to hit save. Once that's done, you're going to get a window with the item and all the little details that go with it. So here it's got who it's been made by. And you also want to be careful when you're downloading or recoloring meshes. Um, you, you need to make sure that you're not violating the creator's terms of use. Some of them don't allow for recoloring. Some of them do. So just make sure you're reading the terms and conditions before you start installing and recoloring, especially if you're going to be reposting them and making them available to the public if you're using it in game i mean uh, yeah, yeah i don't want to get in trouble do you know what i mean i don't want to get you guys in trouble so <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to add a swatch okay uh and then we're going to go to texture and then here you'll see these are the the files that we're going to need to change Right, so we're only going to need to change one of them and then replace the three identical ones with that image. So we're going to go to export. So export it to the same folder where you're going to save your Sims 4 custom content just to make it easier. So we'll save this as tissue test again, hit save. And then once you've done that, it will bring up the folder, right? So you've got your, this will be your package file, but we don't need that for now. And this will be your file that you need to edit and it's a PNG file. So for this, I'm using Photoshop because that's the software that I've got installed. It's the software that I know how to use. You might have another software that you find easier to use and that's perfectly fine. So you're going to open the PNG file. Okay. And you're going to be presented with this. So what you're going to do, just hit up Google, type in toilet roll, loo roll, whatever you call it in your country. Um, and then just choose one of the images. So I'm going to go with this Andrex, hit save, save the image. Then once you've saved it, you're going to go to your files, wherever you save that image. And then you're going to open it with Photoshop. And then once you've opened it, have a look at the the way this has been laid out. So the whole image here has been compressed and then just duplicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to crop this because we just want the, we just want this to be a square, make this into a square like that. And where possible, try to avoid leaving any white corners. It might be unavoidable, but you know, maybe you can shave that off a tiny bit more. If you hit, um, control while you move the mouse, you can get a more precise cut and then, oh, that will do for now. So then what you're going to do, you're going to go back to your PNG, get that image that you've cropped and you're going to drag it over. And now you're just going to make this the same size as the image like that. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate that layer. So you go to layer, duplicate layer. Apologies for background noise guys. Uh, and then we're going to place that in exactly, you know, you might need to primp it and preen it a little bit just to get it to fit perfectly. Okay. So once you're happy with that, you're going to go to file, save as going to save it as a PNG file, but don't change the name of it. Keep it the same file name that you started with. You replace it. 
hit OK. And then you're going to go back to your Sims 4 Studio. And then you're going to replace these images here. So hit that, hit Import. And then replace it with... And again, hit import with this one as well. And then again with this one. So once you've imported all of these three, then you'll see that you now have your Andrex instead, <laughs> um, as well as your Lambie and your whatever else it is you've got. So you can put anything you want in there. It doesn't have to just be a you know, a branded thing and you could, you could make it up. You can make up your own brand of Lou Roll, whatever. As long as you follow those steps and you follow the grid, yeah, you can put whatever you want in here. So just for example, just as an, a, a, a bonus, I guess, if I change the color of this, I'm going to change the color of this to, let's just make it plain white. All right. So if I get rid of that, get rid of that if I get my rectangle tool go over and we're gonna make it white and then we're gonna duplicate that and then put that there like that and then you can just put whatever you want in there do you know what i mean like if i if i select the text tool it says laura mipsim i would say oh i don't know tissue right <laughs> you just plunk it there okay and then copy that over there as well in the middle and then again, file, save as, tissue test, PNG, hit save, hit replace, replace. And then you go back to your Sims 4 Studio. And then I'm gonna add a swatch actually. And then just gonna replace these images here again just like before but you don't want to replace these ones these you know only the ones with the images inside them and then that's it so you can see that whatever you put in the this file here will show up in this file here now once you've done all that you're going to hit save and then once you've hit save, it will change it to a package file. Go to your custom folder, grab the package that you just made, drag it into your mods folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the mods folder as a new folder just to make my life easier. So we've got a new finder window, go to Sims 4 custom content, and then we're going to have the mods here. So you go to Electronic Arts, Sims 4, Mods. Then you're going to drag this over into there. And then you'll be good to go. So then I'm going to show you what it looks like in-game as well. Uh, just so you can see how it looks, how it fits, how it plays in the game as well. So here I've got my little laundry section. Um, and here's some custom content I, I cooked up earlier <laughs> or that I recolored earlier rather. So we're going to have a look for the file that we made, a little packet of tissue. Come on, bitch, come on. Where is he? Ah, there you are, bastard. If you've used the same file that I've used, what you're going to need to do is type in bathroom decor set one or just any of these words that are in that sentence there. Or if you want to do it the long way, go to decorations and it will be, I clicked all because I don't know which one of these sections it's in. So you just click all custom content and then you'll find that, that as well. Um, I've got two files because I made another one when I made the tutorial, but you should, you should just have the one. And then what you're going to do is you, when you go in, you'll see the additional swatches that you made. 
So you've got that one. And then we have the Andrex as well. And I've already placed it in my game because I couldn't wait. <laughs> and that's it. There you have it. So if you found this helpful, please hit thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you on the next one. All right, take care.